So I found a jump shot that is almost identical to Patrick Mills base, but for the tall guards. Let's show y'all what the jump shot is. Let's get 500 likes. Yo, cho, Wagwan, everybody. I finally hit starter four. The demo is over with. Fine, my goal has been completed for the year. If you want me to drop the best rep method that I use, just say the word and I'll drop my rep method that you can be watching a movie with. In starting five, win or loss, you're going to move up a lot of percentage, all right? But I am a starter four. I do have Patrick Mills base now. I do have Steve Francis. But you know one thing I don't have? A jump shot for the big build. Well, I didn't get a jump shot for the big build, but I have a jump shot for the big build that is like Patrick Mills. And this is a base last year that I did try to use, but the, the time instability was too low. This year, they actually fixed the time instability. And it's none other than Justin Holiday, guys. Justin Holiday with the same upper releases I used with my Kevin Horter jump shot last year in the six, six, on the 6'6 six, six build in the stage. Justin Holiday is not much slower than Kevin Horter. As you see right here, it says an A on the lowest speed. Now, Kevin Horter is not going to be that much big of an advantage. It'll be an A+, plus, but it's not maxed out. But you see the release height is significantly lower. So you're going to get contested more not necessarily because Kevin Horter is so fast, but Justin Holiday has the height to go with it. And if you really want the A plus on Justice Holiday, Justin Holiday, all you have to do is just max this out to cork mass to more, and you'll get that A plus. You'll lose the A minus height, but me personally, this is how I would rock it. This is an elite jump shot. Now, I will be showing you guys some gameplay with this jump shot base in the wreck. And the proven grounds on my 6-6 six, six lock in the proven grounds but in the wreck it'll be with this build running with randoms because i was in the rec center trying to get rep and then show you guys some gameplay now obviously i want to have more gameplay for you guys but i had to sacrifice rhythm shot i had to sacrifice the fact that i need to hit ss4 before november bro cod ball to drop i think some people are already playing the cod i want to get over there and play some cod on my second channel and stream it as well but yeah so there we go bullet and you see the jump shot is literally like um that's a square shot right there like potty mills feels like potty mills look like potty mills and only when you get the messed up jump shot it's not going to look like potty mills all right so this is the jump shot i would recommend that you use if you're a big build and you're looking for something similar to potty mills if not use kevin horter if you want a fast jump shot that really can get contested if you get the shot off fast enough all right if you peak with it but yeah, this is the jump shot. Let's get that 500 likes. Big up on the self. No, first thing I'll show you is me spotting up with a jump Send shot it. on my 6'6". Six, six, lockdown, 85 three-point shot. Rhythm shooting and regular shooting, all right? Now, rhythm shooting in this game has been broken. It's not as consistent as before. They definitely messed it up when they did these last few patches. Using square will be all right. You can use squares if, square if you want to, but I like to rhythm shoot, but unfortunately... You're not going to be able to rhythm shoot every shot. You just have to pick your chances where you feel like it's going to give you a smooth rhythm shot. All right. That's what they did is they messed up the smoothness of it. It's going to get a lot of earlies on very early on all this foolishness. All right. So enjoy this little gameplay with a lockdown. Then I'm going to take you out to the rec center with the randoms where I was using my 6.6 PG. Still was a brand new build. Made it yesterday. Dropped the video for you guys yesterday. Actually, I made it two days ago, but I dropped the build video. Um, but right now, this is my 6-6 lock. Y'all already seen this. Enjoy this little Proven Grounds gameplay real quick. Youngster no live in a tenement yard. In a tenement yard. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Set of twins. Mine look like it might go leave. Bullets come in. New party this enough? No, you heard me say that was the new party mills. Obviously, once I saw it, I was like, all right, it's almost time for to make my six six point guard build. No, I'm running with randoms in this gameplay. The only person I know in this is obviously my brethren Aunt Zeno. All right, he decided this was the first game he was gonna bring out the big man build, and unfortunately, we got you know some randoms. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run in there with randoms for the rep, and I got my rep now. I'm never gonna be running with randoms again in no rec center. It's not happening. Starting five, done with. I got my goal. Now I can be in the stage. And anytime there's a two times rep event, I'll step out there for the fun of it. No, like I said, this is randoms. This is randoms we're playing with. And honestly, I'm not in no game chat with them or nothing like that because I don't care. I'm here for my rep and that is it. All right, randoms gonna do what randoms do, which is do whatever the hell they want. 
and you just have to accept it. All right. That's what that's how I go in direct center recently and don't lose my mind because the randoms going to do whatever they want. So I try to let them be happy. So at least I have a chance to win the game. All right. Now, fortunately, I did have my brethren on Zeno with me. So I know I will get the basketball sometimes that way I can cook up on the 6-6 six, six PG, which is what you're seeing right now. Now, this build is going to be 10 times better when I get the Hall of Fame legend. I mean, not legend. Hall of Fame lightning launch, right? It's going to make it way smoother, way quicker. Now that I'm a starter four, I do have some new six as well. But this is not starter four gameplay. This is obviously before I hit starter four. And just me testing it out and see what I can get away with. But like I said, trying to keep everybody happy. I'm not going to come on here and show you no gameplay of me just shooting four for four, uh, five for five, seven for seven, back to back to back because I haven't even been able to play online really that much because I've been hawking the rip. I just decided, you know what? At the rate that I was going at, I wouldn't be a starter for until probably mid-November, end of November. And I'm not trying to wait that long, all right? As you see, that jump shot looks like Patty Mills, obviously. I did not really know how to use it that well in this gameplay. You're going to see that I do clutch up in overtime and make right there. I should have just peeked that, all right? I do make some tough shots, but when you're running with randoms, you really can't come out here shooting every shot, every shot. One, there's not going to be good spacing on the floor. People are going to be running around doing a bunch of nonsense, all right? So the fact that I'm on a 6-6 six, six PG makes it worse. You make two, three mistakes with the um, dribble moves in 5v5 setting, you're going to get ripped on the big builds easily, especially with silver unpluckable, which is what I'm using on this build, obviously, until I get gold. I'm not gold yet because it's a fresh build. But if I was running with a squad, I could easily have five out with this build or with screens, it would have been okay. Because I'm getting past people just fine. All right? Believe it or not. And I don't even have SGA dribble style. Nobody has it yet. When that SGA dribble style come out, that's when the big builds are going to really shine. Let's just hope 2K don't wait until friggin' uh, March or, 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 you know, July or something crazy to drop no friggin' SGA dribble style. Because they tend to do that, drop the stuff that we need at the end of the friggin' year when nobody needs it no you see i'm telling you this build is like a little lockdown it's like a baby lockdown right that's what i use the build as i pick up the guard and i'm guarding them 94 feet or i pick them up a half court depending on how the guard plays and guess what i can really change a game by myself with this build alone that's why i was able to hawk so much xp in starting five like i said if y'all look at this another steal back-to-back -back possessions and i'm running the break not gonna rip me making the right read bullet no check me out that's how i was able to hawk so much rip this is my most successful build in the starting five my six nine was the most successful until i start using this build i don't like to bring my small guard in there because my small guard all of them don't really have the defense it takes to play a starting five where rng is so crazy with this build now i dropped 95 points in the friggin starting five with this build believe it or not i was playing against a zenner and he kept leaving me open every freaking play and i literally was making most of my shots but I was using a different jump shot, all right? I was using a faster jump shot, a Horter Custom, all right? So let me know if y'all want that starting five method. I should be now able to be able to play the friggin' game online again, y'all. Mercy. And I'm talking, when I say online, I'm talking about my modes. Proving ground stage and just two times XP events, all right? Not this friggin' wreck on starting five crap. I, this is not for me. I enjoy playing way more competitive modes and not with randoms all right we, we don't play with the randoms all right we're just doing it for the rep all right now right here this was a, this would be a man i wish i would have made this shot right here but you can kind of see the vision obviously i'm not going to show y'all my best games i'm going to show y'all what i have done so far if i want to show y'all my best games i just load up starting five right now and i'm dropping literally 40 a game with this build most of the times with 10 assists just doing the same thing you're seeing me doing on fading as well but nobody wants to sit here and watch starting five gameplay so i might as well show you guys the wreck now Speaking of the Rick, you're going to see how we end up losing this game. Like I said, these are randoms. I don't know these guys. So I'm trying to stay in my best behavior. And they didn't want to pass me the ball right there. Even though I literally just changed the game by myself, right? So I'm sitting in the corner. I'm waiting for this dude to make a move. And he drives it in the paint. And that's not a good shot selection. I don't care what nobody says. Courts on Twitch. That's not a good shot selection, Bridget. It's not. But you know what? He made up for it later. As you see, I'm getting hit by the screen. Nobody's there to pick up for me. Anyways. The build, I dropped it yesterday. You really can't really determine what you can do off the build based off this gameplay. But I wanted to bring y'all the jump shot without waiting until I literally get some 3v3 gameplay for you guys. Now look at the crap the AI makes and this is the beginning of the downfall. Because check out this next possession. All right, mind you, we're up multiple possessions. This man is draining the clock out with Max. Why is he not shooting that with Badge, right? 
What is he doing? Look at this. He's following over to my side. No spacing on the floor. Check me out. Time running out. Look at the time. And then he just dumps it off and makes the puffy hair guy literally have to take a bad shot and give up a three on the other side. And that's how we lose the game. Because we're going to go to overtime now. And we're going to lose in overtime. Because look at that. Over time, he makes a shot. I'm clamping up this guard. I'm doing my best to get some stops on him. Even though the whole game has been me literally trying to play against this guard with no help on the screen. Right? With, with bronze menace. Silver pick dodger is good enough. Now watch this. This is, this is where I'm telling you a jump shot like this when you really know it. Especially in the easier shooting setting. It's going to be immaculate. See that pocket shot I just shot off the peak? That's what you're trying to aim for with this jump shot with a big build. Spot up, you already saw that is good. Off the dribble, you already see the potential. Go ahead, try it out for yourself. Big up on yourself, big lord, I'm Mike. Channel out. G1 or don't think I'm gonna get me gone.